do I? No, um, no. Is there any, <laughs> you know, proper greeting I should? I, I feel like I should at least curtsy. Yeah. Curtis Thanks. Fielding is joining us. Uh, usually, his wife uh, Heidi Fielding is with us normally from Fielding Estates. Great to have you here. Thank you very much. She should be the queen. She's, She's the, queen the queen every day, right? Every day. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, I do love a. I know you refer to it as the green jacket. I'm sorry that you're not on a golf course right now, That's but it right. is a very nice jacket. And uh, the beautiful necklace, which your four-year-old thought was a wrestling belt. Yes, he thought it was a wrestling belt, but uh, luckily enough, it was chains. So. It's chains. Okay, yeah. really cool concept. That right there is Tom Davis Sr. back in 1956, the first Grape King. First Grape King of Niagara, yep. And this is a pretty, this is a, a pretty cool award to get. Yeah, it's a big honor. I'm uh, the 56th Grape King for, uh, I represent over 500 grape growers for Ontario. And uh, it's the Grape Growers' 65th anniversary this year, so very honored to be the Grape King. When you look at the requirements behind it, what has it been about fielding, uh, about what you guys have done that really put you guys on the map that they said this was something they wanted to honor you with? It definitely, it, it definitely starts out in the vineyard, and uh, growing great grapes makes great wine, as we all know. But uh, we just take very high detail in our vineyards, and uh, obviously it's shown So in the Grape Grower of the Year. So what was it, what was it like when you found out uh, that they'd gotten the honor. I was pretty overwhelmed. I was like, wow, this is like, when I moved down to Niagara, um, everybody talks, every year it's, who's the Grape King? Who's the Grape King? And this year, I was just, wow, I can't believe I'm in this. You're, you're yeah. the Grape King. Yeah. What does this title now uh, entitle you to, or what is required of you with this title? Lots of requirements. I get to go around and uh, do a lot of uh, talks. I'm the ambassador for the Grape Growers of Ontario, and uh, I do a legislature uh, tasting coming up at the end of the month and uh, go out to the Okanagan Wine Festival, represent uh, Niagara out there, mm -hmm. and uh, just a whole bunch of uh, stuff. <laughs> There's a lot that goes with yeah. it. There is a lot. There's actually a lot of names on this. So each of these is the individual winner of that year. Right. Dating all the way back, right? This this actually goes back to... Yeah, 1956 was the first year, and that's Tom Davis mm -hmm. there in the picture. So. Have you, have you recognized or do you know some of the people, the, the gentlemen that have earned this? Yes. I uh, When I moved down, as I said, I was... I know most of the Grape Kings each year, and mm -hmm. uh, I've actually a lot of them have uh, mentored me through the years and uh, helped me with a lot of farming questions. And uh, it's a pretty neat uh, alumni to be. Were they named proud with. of you yeah. once they realized oh, yeah. that it was you? Oh yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> they were pretty proud. So we had a good time. Drank a lot of wine. So yeah. So sometimes the, the Grape King can actually be seen wearing this out on Friday night. Oh, right? all the, in yeah, the Niagara definitely. Region. Yeah, we get out and dance with the sun, you know. So. Pretty interesting. So it's going to be a really busy year. What about uh, what's going on with fielding? Has it been busy? I mean, now that... Yeah, we've been busy. We just wrapped up two weeks of uh, Grape and Wine Festival, which I had. I was very busy. I was down in uh, Montebello Park in St. Catharines mm -hmm. doing the Grape King duties. But uh, the winery's been very busy. We're just, just wrapping up harvest now. We have one more field of grapes to bring in. And uh, this year looks stellar. 2012 vintage is uh, absolutely awesome. One of the things that you mentioned vintages, I love your wine, and I actually am I'm, I'm a big supporter of you. Thank you. I did notice that when I was, you know, at the LCBO, you can find it at different places. Some will be in the vintage, some will just be with the regular Ontario wines. It's just you have to know where to find it. Different yeah. stores will carry it differently. Exactly. If you if you can't find us, ask the product managers, the store managers. They'll help you find us. The LCBO is just going through a little transition now. They're uh, moving over to varietal only, mm -hmm. so you'll find fielding in with California, you know, Italy, but it'll be Chardonnay. They're that's how they're splitting yep. it up, right? Exactly. So if you, people really need to know their tastes at that point. Definitely. When they're going in for a certain variety of wine. Yeah. What did you bring for us? I brought a 2010 Cab Merlot today from an exceptional vintage as well. Cheers. Congratulations, Cheers. by the way, on Thank the you. honor. The newest, the 2012 uh, Grape King, may I introduce you to Curtis Fielding of Fielding Estate Winery. Congratulations Thank once again. Thank you very again. much. Yeah. I, really, I really thought you should have worn the whole outfit. No, though. I'm glad that, they That would have been really good, though. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome in. Well, I couldn't let it go. Cheers. These Cheers. are always great. <laughs>